<laughs> I love pizza, and today we are celebrating pizza because we're celebrating National Cheese Day. And who doesn't love a cheesy pepperoni uh. pizza? I love this. So we want to talk pizza, and Cheryl Barrett with Marco's Pizza knows all things about cheesy pizzas, and you join us today. Thank you so much for coming oh, in. Thank you for having me. Can we talk a little bit about just the world's obsession with cheese? Maybe it's Americans. Why do we love a cheesy pizza so much? I can't tell you why. We just do. <laughs> right, yeah. do, do you profess your love for cheese like oh, I do? Yeah. The more the merrier. So you guys reached out to us because you said this is the perfect day to talk about making a pizza because you can't have pizza without the cheese. So talk a little bit first because maybe we'll even show. We got a big and it's hot, Chris, so that we can have Ooh. a hot piece of pizza. We're going to uh, show you, that was very nice. a, a cheesy piece of pizza and then you're going to kind of show us the secrets of making one at home. Although I prefer just to order my Marco's pizza. But <laughs> Most people, yeah. I just don't want to do all the work ourselves. It's a lot of work, yeah. Okay, so, so we're kind of doing it backwards, boy, but I want to I I oh, show off. Uh, uh, so this is our, uh, for mm. National Cheese Day, this is our big cheese pizza. It's going to have so your three cheese blend, cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. Oh, my good. Okay, yeah. so it's not just one kind of cheese. No, not anywhere close. You can't just do one kind of cheese. And this isn't <laughs> like for great. your kids, you know, birthday party, because, you know, this is like a cheese pizza for adults, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's got a garlic butter crust. It's, oh. Look at that. Yeah, That's so expand beautiful. on that. What makes Marco's different than the rest? Because there are a lot of pizza places out there. Um, none of our products are actually ever frozen. It's all fresh every day. Our dough is made fresh every day. Uh, sauce is made fresh every day. So nothing comes in frozen. So we have to actually take the time to make the products, cut it, make it ready for the guest. Okay, let's make a pizza. Yeah, Even though we got one. Skills. Yep. I don't know about a piece to eat while she does her thing. <laughs> no, I'm good. Because <laughs> I might need to, I might need to help here. Okay. Oh, I asked you because earlier today on the Valley today we also Abby Furchner was with you and she was Correct. making some pizzas and she was throwing pizzas. Correct. But um, I was actually trained that that can actually hurt your dough. So Marcos does not normally throw their pizza up in the air. But they do in the movies. They do. They it do. Looks, it looks fun. Okay. So uh, what do you what do you need to do here? So it's a little trickier in the store we have a, a dough stretcher that kind of helps us a little bit form the pizza into the right shape so trying to do it by hand can be a little tricky but we're gonna try um, and then we finger dock it just like I did this morning and what does that do like get all the it it's gonna create an area for all your toppings to sit uh, okay so then you leave the center a little bit of a, a, a hill in the center so when you put all your toppings in there, they don't fall off to the side. Oh, well. That's important. <laughs> it is. You'd be surprised on how I, I learned so much from working at Marco's on how to make the most amazing pizza. There's so, a science behind this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. And you had said, so part of it with the throwing it, you said people often when they're making their own pizza dough, they spend too much time with it. Yep. Playing with your dough too much, um, tossing it. Just constantly stretching it is actually bad for the dough. It's gonna, the, the you're gonna break down the yeast. The yeast isn't gonna do its job that it needs to do. And you said, how long do you guys let yours sit? So we make it fresh every day. Um, it has to sit for 18 hours for the yeast and the sugars and everything to make the perfect uh. dough ball. And then we can use the dough. Okay. Okay, so next up, could that be that enough or not enough yet? Well, it's almost the right size. I mean, we would, I, this is not the Marco's Kitchen, so it's, you know, Yeah, so I forgot North a pan today. today. Uh, I forgot a pan. So normally it would be something similar to that, and like I did. I did bring a ladle so we can actually, excuse my Tupperware. It's all good. Get this out of the oh, way. Oh, just, can... that smells delicious. Yep, and like I said, even our sauce is is made fresh in the store every day. So it's not... It's not something that you can, you can copy. Now this is just one kind of, this is just mozzarella? Nope, this is our special three cheese oh, blend that we actually get made just for Marco's pizza. So, and we weigh, we weigh out our cheese and it still comes out to be really cheesy. <laughs> what else have you learned in your uh, time at Marco's that uh, you have taken home? 
Um, no matter what, how hard I try, I cannot make a Marcos pizza at home. <laughs> I don't know why. There's some ingredients they just keep a secret. Um, but yeah, just learning patience to making the perfect pizza is a big key. So, patience. You want to throw some, uh, some of these oh, yeah. toppings on? Yeah. Um, we also have, I, didn't, I know you guys didn't see it this morning, but we also have special sausage that's actually made just ah. for Marco's pizza. So, yep. It's like special spicing or what? It's se special seasoning and everything. He came from um, Italy and started his first Marco's in 1978. So, and talk a little bit about the locations. There's, are there two locations in Fargo, correct? There are three locations oh, three. in Fargo. Where there are they is. at? So there's one on University. Uh, there's one on 13th Avenue um, in West Fargo. And then our new location, which is on 45th Street. Okay. So. And dine-in, just go carry out? or We do dine-in, carry out, and delivery. All three of them. What are the most popular pizzas that you have? Oh, boy. So one of my ultimate favorites is the uh, pepperoni magnifico and our all mm. meat those two are our, one of our most populars um and i couldn't even tell you how many we sell of those a day <laughs> i couldn't even come close um with the kids it is the the cheese pizza that i showed you this morning they really they really love that one cheese pizza you can't go wrong but i was gonna say no. with something like this it's also good for adults too you don't th have to think that you're just doing something oh. plain with it you'd be surprised cheeses. how many how many adults love the cheese pizza too so okay well happy national cheese day yeah. well thank you thank you so much for showing us how to make a pizza and bringing in some hot cheesy pizza as well all right stay with us we'll be right back with your daily motivation